Hi, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and today we're going to test out this blue SCSI that I got from my friend Steve from Mac84. Just to recap, the last video you saw was us building and installing the Rominator kit for this Mac Plus. And the kit actually is pretty easy to build. It's just that some of the soldering is very hard to do when you don't have a microscope. But anyway, we put it in, tried to power up the Mac, and we had a little disaster with it. So basically what it did is apparently I had a bridge on a couple of the pins on the Rominator. And then when we tried to power it up, it actually shorted out the CPU. So basically it killed the board. And so getting back to the Rominator, this kit, it's pretty easy to build, but you gotta be careful. Now, as far as the issue with this and my construction of it, all the components are put on correctly. There's no issue there. But when I, and I don't know, let me see if I can make this a little better for you. You can't really see it but there is this row of pins on this. You can't really see it, but this row of pins, I had this off earlier, there, one of those inside there was bridged. So when I put the power to it, <clears throat> that particular one, um, that was going to one of the pins on the CPU and that's what killed the processor. Now, granted my soldering isn't perfect on this little IC chip here and that's very critical. That could have been another issue but there's no bridges on that. It is put on the right way. Uh, the jumpers, they are done correctly. You're supposed to bridge them and one goes to the Mac Plus, one goes to the Common, which both of them do that. And then also on the back side of the board here, we got the pins on the Plus and on the Plus and all and all. So that's what we need. We're not on the 512K, which these would be way down here if they were. But those match up, those match up, that matches up because that's in the thing there and I double checked it on Keikoba's drawings. That's all correct and that's all correct. But yeah, that's a, it's a nice kit though. I really like it. It's very, very tiny. It looks big here, but it's very tiny. So I got another kit on order and then when we get it, we'll assemble it and we'll double check everything and we will put it in the Mac Plus again and see what happens. But yeah, so I just thought you'd like to look at that. And yeah, I mean, there's, you know, there's a nice soldering. Um, next one will be perfect. This one I was a little light on, but again, a little rusty here. But as they say, practice makes perfect. But anyway, it looks pretty good though, I think, all in all. It's just, unfortunately, bridged a pin in there on the underneath side and it, killed the CPU on another board and it uh, I'm not gonna try to put this on another board even though I fixed the bridge on that I don't feel that lucky I'm just gonna build a whole new kit and it'll be well worth it but we'll just chalk this up for experience and as the kit says you know you build it at your own risk we will go back to the blue SCSI so since then, I got another Mac Plus Logic board in it, and it works wonderful. We did the diode conversion on it, to where we have termination power on the SCSI port. But now, what we're gonna do is we are going to hook up the blue SCSI drive. Now, as you know, this computer, when I got it, when we did an unboxing, we have this fabulous Apple Crate external SCSI drive, which is pretty neat in itself because it's very unusual, not much information on it. But the issue with it is it's old and it's got bad sectors on it. Supposedly, there is a way to re-erase it, everything on it, and actually totally bypass the bad sectors. So we will do that in a later project. But for now, I wanted to get this Mac Plus a little bit more modern. So, I'm 
one of my good friends on YouTube, Steve Mac84. He graciously assembled this blue SCSI kit for me. And the reason being is, well, I'm kind of lazy, but the other thing is I was kind of lacking some of the equipment. But since then, I've uh, upgraded some equipment so I can start doing some of this stuff myself. I am an electronic technician by trade, but it's like everything else. You know, you get a little rusty when you don't do it. So anyway, he put this all together for me. And also uh, Tom Barber, he's the one that sells these kits. He also was very instrumental in uh, making this thing. And it looks beautiful. Comes in a nice case. And Steve was so gracious, he even uh, flashed the SD card for me. And it's in there, and that's pretty neat. But what you need to hook this up to your Mac Plus is you need a special adapter. So what you need is, again, Tom Barber. He sells these. You can get them assembled or non-assembled. And it's the Over Easy 2 adapter, SCSI adapter. So basically you have your, there's the pin there. It goes into the blue SCSI there. And then on the other side is, this is the SCSI connector that goes into your Mac Plus or whatever classic Mac you have. And it goes on real easy. So basically what you do is you just put this on like so and you just get it lined up and it pushes right on there. And it's a nice elegant looking solution there. And like I said, it's all 3D printed, pretty cool. So yeah, so I've already had this running on it. It does work, but I'm gonna show you guys how it works. Now I stepped the resolution down on my camera. Normally I shoot at 4K, but I dropped this down to 1080p at 30 frame, and that's the best I can make this monitor look, so it's not too terrible looking. You'll get like a tiny little line that kind of comes down occasionally. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, install this, and it's just, you just plug it right back into the uh, SCSI, SCSI port here, like that, okay. Get everything all lined up there. And I've got my Mac Plus just sitting there. So we're going to uh, turn it on. Uh, three, two, one. Got a nice beep there. And what I'll do is I'm gonna move this up just a little closer here so we can see some things on it. And you see, you'll see that little line, it just goes down very slowly. That's, believe me, that looks a lot better than when we were trying to do it at 4K. These older monitors. It's accessing the blue SCSI. And we get a little happy Mac, welcome to Macintosh. We'll uh, settle down here as soon as it gets booted up here. It's trying to sync up with it here. Let's see, there we go. There we go. And it's loading up the desktop there. And look at that. Nice. Now you put 7.1 on there for me. Um, this is capable of running 7.5 on this Mac Plus, but it will be even really slow. Ideally, around System 6 is a pretty decent system to run on it if you want a little faster. But I'm very happy with uh, the way it works here. And if we go to about uh, this uh, Macintosh here, you can see that we have uh, or mega memory, system 7.1. And let me uh, click out of that there. And then what we're gonna do is I will uh, open up this here. And I set the time and date on already. And unfortunately when it goes to this, it's doing that weird stuff on the screen. Uh, I mean, it's, it's on the camera rather. But we have extras in here, we have um, Snooper, which is kind of neat. It's a diagnostic program you can run on it. Uh, there is a couple games on here, but um, I'm going to 
take and download some games and put some more games on it. I think it'd be kind of fun to play on this thing. But yeah, um, and I don't, like I said, I don't want to play with it too much. And of course, when you get the, the Blue Scuzzy Plus here, and if we go about this Macintosh here, okay, and you just uh, get your. Um, Apple hard drive set up here, your system folder, extras, system picker, the classic stuff there. And if we try to open up the system folder here, get that we can go into sounds here. And sorry for the uh, weird strobing here, but you can do there. And the volume is very nice, the volume is really good on this stuff too. So that all works, so we'll just leave it on the eat here. We'll turn down just a little bit. So yeah, so it's got uh, all kinds of interesting things on it here. I like the, the diagnostics, it's pretty cool. But yeah, um, I'm very impressed with the Blue SCSI. So if you've got a SE30 uh, and you want to put a SCSI on it there, you can do that. Uh, it would be a nice little thing to have. Now, uh, my kids, well they're not kids anymore, they're in their latter 30s, but they, a uh, long time ago I gave them my Mac SE and I asked them if they still had it, they have it, so they're going to bring it back to me because it's just been sitting in the garage for years. I want to get it because I told them I wanted to get to it because I'm sure the battery has already leaked in it and created all kinds of havoc and stuff. So as soon as I get that back, we'll do some videos on that. We will rominate this Mac again and hopefully we will not have the same disaster. I will very meticulously look things over. I thought I did before, but apparently I didn't. And so when we get it rominated, then uh, that'll be nice. That'll give us some other features as well. And I do plan on trying to get this board fixed. If I can get a hold of a new 6800 processor, I'll pull this old one out, I'll desolder it, solder the new one in, and then uh, get it going again. Because like I said, I shorted, shorted the on the pens there, shorted it out. So anyway, you guys have a great rest of your week. Please like and subscribe and click that notification bell. We're also on MeWe and Twitter. You can reach out to me there. And again, I want to thank Steve from Mac84 and Tom Barber. Thank you guys for helping me out. I really appreciate it. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.